Okay, welcome back, my friends. Teapot Tom here. So, today is, uh, at the time of this recording, somewhat of a special day. Uh, this is episode one of my very first Let's Play. Uh, I've never done one of these before. Uh, I'm in uncharted territory for Teapot Tom. Uh, this is new. This is new. It's already kind of odd um, because I'm not streaming at my normal time. It's a different time of day. The camera's not on. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> The webcam's not there on OBS, and uh, and my blue light is on, so I have a big light in my face. So already, new for me, probably new for you as well, um, although there probably are some as well uh, of you out there that have seen my left, my, not my, my left displays, but my streams, my streams. I've been streaming for about eight months now, going on nine months, closing it on nine months. Um, I've been streaming Total War Warhammer for... Uh, I'd say six days out of the week, five to six days out of the week, almost full time for about that length of time, close to you know, nine months now. Um, so I, I have established somewhat of a community, um, but it's been entirely based off of streaming, as I said. So this is new. This is new to me, and uh, this is something I probably should have started months ago, and I've been kind of had in the workings and I've been planning to do for for several months, and, and, uh, and I'm finally making it happen. So um, thank you all for those that also suggested that I be doing this alongside my streams, because uh, I, I feel it's probably also a good idea. And I'm excited to see where it takes us. This is a, it's a new journey for all of us. So I decided to go with the dwarves uh, for a couple reasons. One, uh, that they're opposing off against the new DLC material that's coming out. And I, I wanted to be the antithesis to that. You know, I wanted to be the one to kind of face off and experience... Um, the new DLC content from the other side. Um, also, I haven't played The Doors in a while. I think I played it on the channel here maybe two or three months ago. We did an Ungrim one a while back, uh, and, and that was great. And before that, we did Thoric, I believe. So we've done Dwarves here on the channel a few times. Um, uh, but, like I said, it's been a while. Um, and just been in the mood for The Doors. I've been looking forward to the Chaos Doors for a long, long time, since game one. Uh, and so, uh, it's, there's a lot of excitement in the air, in, in the world of uh, my little teapot Tom channel, uh, and, uh, and so, yeah, I'm looking forward to all the new stuff coming out, and, I, and so, I'd say the third reason, um, on top of the ones I already described, um, is that, um, the, the dwarves were the very first campaign that I ever did in Total War Warhammer, uh, in the first one, back in, wow, 2015 now? Yeah, I think it's been 2015. Um, so they were the first faction I played, and uh, at the time of this uh, um, you know, exciting saga of Total War Warhammer 3, I figured I'd try them again as kind of like the beginnings of a new chapter, the new new era of my channel. Um, it would be kind of a, a new hallmark of, of a new era. So with those reasons, I say we just jump right in. Um, also, I should mention that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm very new to streaming. Um, as I said, I'm completely new to um, making material in general, uh, and I'm very inexperienced with OBS. I, I me when I say that, I'm very much a noob in this regard, and I'm very aware of it. So I'm uh, I'm all ears. I know many many of you out there are very very good at um, the nuances of streaming and recording and video editing. And uh, I would love to pick your brains about all of it because I don't know what I'm doing. I come from a very different background in the science field, the medical field. Um, so I'm in the early stages of um, this part of my life. This area of uh, expertise is not existent for me. And um, I'm, I'm very much open to listening and learning from those of you in the community that know what you're actually doing. So any and all feedback is very much appreciated. Um, so let's just jump into it. Let's just get going. Settings here. Um, I have been playing on very hard, very hard for quite some time. Um, although not that long. Um, it wasn't until about two months ago, maybe not even a month ago, I was playing on very hard with hard battle difficulty. And then I, I bumped it up um, and it's been fine. So let's keep it at that. And let's go with uh, Steve Lanes, of course, in game scenarios. Sure, like we can do an in game. Why not? Why not? Um, and game difficulty, let's, uh, let's bump it up to 200. Why not? Why not? Okay. Timer, I usually keep it at 10. Um, let's, t yeah, let's turn that off. Trigger and turn timer range. Um, yes, we want that on. Turn timer range. 
let's set the parameters to, I don't know. Um, so I plan for this campaign to go on for quite some time. Uh, I don't know exactly how many episodes, but each one's going to be, I probably should have gone over this earlier in the, in the episode. Um, these episodes will be about 40 minutes long, 30 to 40 minutes is my, my target range. Um, and so however long we get in that times, so however many turns it takes to go through a campaign, I, I, I'm just not sure. And I'm not sure what will what will be the parameters in terms of um, when we stop in the campaign either. I guess as the campaign goes along, I can ask you guys what you guys think. And we can kind of curtail the campaign as we go together, you know? So I'm not going to really start with this any, like, end, end, like, goal in mind, I guess. Maybe down the road in further campaigns and other campaigns we can start doing that, implementing that. But I think for now it's just kind of like, I don't know, just kind of grow it together, you know? You know? Yeah, let's just try that. As I said, I'm just winging all this. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I've just played a lot of Total War Warhammer, and I just kind of want to show it to you guys and show it and experience it with you guys, you know? Okay. Those of you that watch my material probably, like, y y you're familiar with how it goes. I just, I just kind of wing it all. And the, and the chaos that ensues is part of the fun, right? <clears throat> okay, so let's do a 70 to um, 80. Whoop. No. Yeah, there we go. Um, Ultimate Crisis. Let's let's not do that. Let's keep that off. I do that sometimes in my live streams, um, but I don't like doing it every time because it's just, I don't know. Kind of, you know, kind of numbs you to the experiment. So unless you style, it's getting you know, you know just get numb to it. You want to have the yin yang. You want to experience both sides of thing. One without the other, you know, isn't defined. They have to have. You know what I mean. So let's keep it off for now. I don't want to go too far down that route. All right, yeah, yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, so let's do a little review here of what he starts with. Um, this is the High King. And uh, yeah, he's gonna be infantry focused as dwarves usually are uh, with emphasis on hammers, which got buffed in game three. They now do magic damage, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think they've always needed that. Uh, and plus melee across the board is more viable in, in game three, much more so. So um, yeah, I'll be curious to see how they perform. In the last, uh, in the last dwarf campaign that I did here on the channel was with Ungrim, but I didn't use a lot of hammers. I focused mostly on slayers, right? So yeah, this will be kind of cool. He's got some ranged units. Oh, he's actually the gyro bomber. Hot damn, that's pretty sweet. Those are the clothes are quite fun. All right, chance to receive additional random rewards for every grudge resolved. Oh, cool. Wasn't aware of that. Mac relations plus 20 with dwarves. Nice, nice. Upkeep minus 50% for longbeards and hammers. Longbeards as well. Longbeards are great. Great frontline troop. You get them pretty early in the campaign. They have great stats for how much they cost. They provide leadership bonuses. Very good unit all around. Um, and so having an upkeep reduction for them is, is pretty cool. Recruit rank plus 3 for hammers. Nice, nice. All commandments have more powerful effects. Oh, interesting, interesting. I was quite aware of that. Um, so that's neat. That's neat. Ah, uh, yeah. So he also buffs up hammers in his own personal army for with fifteen percent additional resistance, physical resistance. That is, and giving them guardian, which is pretty neat. Guardian is something that uh, some heroes have, some other characters uh, that gives a, a physical resistance ward save to other characters uh, within a certain radius, and it's always on. It's a passive buff. It's quite nice. Uh, leadership aura size plus 75 percent right off the bat wow so i imagine that's going to stack with the stuff he gets in his own red line tree um well not his red line i mean the, the um the, the the gold line the yellow line uh which is that's quite a multiplier damn okay cool let's just jump into it all right we can go nine minutes wow i'm just, <laughs> just going to kind of like I don't know, slowly take in all the differences between my live streams and recording, because it's funny, when I um, when I live stream, I don't really pay attention to the clock at all. Like, when I, I just hit the start button, like, go live, and then I just, I don't really look at the timer until, like, hours have gone by, like, four or five hours. Um, but having to monitor, well, not having to, but kind of, you know, feeling the need to monitor the clock to know approximately when to stop um, when you're trying to keep things under an hour is just going to be interesting for me. Oh god, we can click continue. Whew, that's right. 
I'm probably gonna do that more often as the campaign goes March along too, so I, I apologize in advance. Okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna go over a bunch of the very, very minute details of how the dwarves work. I'm gonna, you know, kind of go into this expecting you have some knowledge uh, of them, um, but maybe not like tons of experience. So, yeah, somewhere, somewhere in the middle, you know, somewhere in the middle. All right, nice, Tom Phillipson. Hey, hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. That's yeah, okay. Is that an omen? That might be an omen. That might be an omen. All right, what's this trait? Um, research trait, 5%. Cool. Construction cost minus 15% for all buildings local region. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, okay. That's not bad. So pop them in there, get some experience, and increase your mobility. And look, got a little posing army right off the bat here. A uh, war boss and a couple ranged units. Yes, yeah, so just go smash them. Oh, yeah, that's right. We get slayers potentially added to our pool to recruit, which is neat. Alright, let's just get in there. Now we can easily auto resolve this, but we're not going to. Let's fight it out. Let's fight it out. I didn't realize we were going to start with the Child Bomber. This is pretty badass, I gotta admit. Pretty freaking badass. Also, along the lines of with what I was saying about being a total noob at OBS and editing and whatnot, uh, I'm not going to edit these. I'm just going to hit the record button and go for it. Maybe down the road I might edit them. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to pretend I'm streaming, basically, and you guys are used to that, so. Well, not all of you, but, but uh, you know, somebody. somebody. Every one of you. Put too much thought into it. Let's be about this. Let's get in there. Ah! Ready. We That's right. The dove. Oh, the bomber. She's got eleven bombs, baby. Let's go. She's so not in there. Fuck it. I don't want to get shot too much necessarily. I also want to have some fun. We want to shut down their ranged assets. Oh, we're getting shot. Guys are kind of baiting out them. Let's get in there. They don't have much armor piercing, so we're going to both the guys to kill them. Yes. Yes. Those are biggins. Biggins. Right. At least they had biggins. Let's go, baby! Kakunga, Kakunga. Oh! Big ones, huh? Mm. Show you a big one. Ah! Fact! Seems so haggard. Taking shots. Understood. Oh. 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 Very good. Me alone. Hammers, protect me. 
Oh yeah, he's got the little machine gun. It's like an auto cannon. I forgot he's that. Sure. Get out of here, dude. My nose might be a little runny uh, today, guys. Sorry about that. I uh, didn't take my antihistamine. I ran out. But I set my family on here and a journey of sorts to go get some more. Uh, but I didn't want to wait. It's like, I need to, I need to record. With or without you. Oh god, that was way out of tune. Just a fast forward. Fuck it. Come here. Oh. There we go. Oh, we got him. Right at the very end there. Whew. That was going to get away from us there. Nice. Look the hammers. Wow. They're solid. Very solid. In the beginning stages of the game, you really see the disparity between elite units versus early game units, you know? It's like, oh yeah, that that's why we're putting all this money to teching up. That's why, to get, you know, typically working towards higher tier stuff, although that's not necessarily the meta that we want to be doing, or should be doing, but... Okay. Alright, let's always, as usual, get the route marcher. The tried and true. Okay. Oh, yeah, this place is huge. Forgot about the girth of this place. Um, we get two special landmarks. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Uh, mine shaft. All about that shaft. The shaft goes up to tier four, which is pretty cool. Um, should we start? It's, uh,. It's uh, progression now? Yeah, probably. We probably will want to get rid of this, too. I don't like having these buildings at capitals, because they can be built and, and uh, achieved at maximum girth at minor settlements. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I think things are great. Don't get me wrong. I like all these units, but... You know, we could go here. Alright, let's get that going. Send me to we still have movement left. Uh, we could recruit, we could recoup, um, but we are going to keep pushing on. Oh, yeah. Destroy them. Uh, we could just auto this. Uh, Thorgrim is kind of beat up, though. Fuck. Um. <clears throat> Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta auto it. I did think about it, though. I did give it a little thought. You guys saw it. You guys saw the thought. All right. Um, that's not too pertinent at the moment. Humans, no. Really? It's mankind. Why would I? I mean, if I got it, I, I will. But I don't want to. Um. Yeah. This seems. This seems pertinent. This does as well. Not too long from now. And the elves. Oh, we're going to fight the elves? Mayhap, mayhap. It may come to that. Um, for now, let's get... Hmm. Money! No, that's just... Oh, that just reduces construction. Damn it. Okay. None of these are... What? I thought there was some big bank to be made here in the initial talent points. Come on! Ugh. What does the further down the line give us? Okay, that, that. There's punishment, sure. Is there upkeep production? Okay, there, okay, finally. Finally get some savings there at the end. Yeah, I know doors are supposed to be expensive. I get it, I get it. I am aware... They do get cost savings and construction stuff, though. Although their buildings are also very expensive. <sighs> Especially without it. Without those um, lowering of cost traits. Uh, so we can make him either a shotgun blunderbuss dude or a sniper type dude. 
What do you guys think? I don't know. If we were alive, I'd probably do a poll. The power is mine! I get to choose. Um, mobility! Yes, let's just go with that. I, I like being able to move far, cover long distances. Movement range is really important. Okay. Let's... Well, since we're out of movement, we might as well recruit, right? So let's just grab some miners with blast and charges, since we can't get any ranged units. Um, like missile units. Alright. Looking around. I haven't played in this area of the the, the map very much lately. Uh, a lot of my campaigns, I feel like I've spent like the past couple months just like isolated in Lustria. Okay, oh, yeah, I know it's my fault. I'm the one who cho chooses when and where these campaigns take place. It's totally self-induced. I get it. I get it. But the truth is, it's the, it's the truth. I've been over here for a lot of time lately. Um, so it feels kind of cool to be over in the snowy mountains. Already, I'm like, it's, wow, it's refreshing over here. It feels like it's fresh air. The mountains, it's nice. Retake the All right. Oh, my God, the dwarven tech tree. Holy shit. Uh, we start with both of these. That's kind of interesting. I don't remember that. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's, that's the way it, it's been. I'm just oblivious to a lot of things in life. Um, let's go with that. I usually I usually go heavy into the economic infrastructure stuff uh, with the dwarves and most factions for that matter, but especially the dwarves. I like. I remember in the last campaign, I think I just went like and got the entire. Um, entire tree, you know, the top, like, two or three rows, all the way uh, through here into the late game, before I even started on the, the, the military stuff. Um, so, yeah, probably the first, like, 80 turns or so, I got pretty pretty deep into the, uh, the Dwarven Tech Tree at the top there. But that's not to say it's optimal. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's optimal. You can entirely go down the military line if you want to, if that's, if that's your thing, and that's quite effective as well. So, it's whatever you want to do, really. It's how you want to engage the game and tackle the obstacles yourself. All right, we could look at diplomacy. Oh, we probably should. Brock Bar, right next to us. They do have a captain that's pretty spiffy called Barack Brock Bar. Um, yeah, I guess. Come, come, kin. Let us feast and drink. Um. Yeah. Steve Bar. Oh, they want to trade. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Cool. And Var, Rock Var has two settlements, Supar has three. Supar is to our north. Yeah. Like oh yes, here they are. I think Zupar itself is right there, I believe. Yeah, next to ground peep. My stomach just grow. Holy shit, am I that hungry? Oh my god. Um Alright, so all the orcs, green skins obviously hate us. What? Tony Scar sticks like, wait a minute. Is there a glimmer of hope between us? No, there is not. There is not. By the comet. Reichland. Hmm. Be at peace. Well, that's How's it going, Carl? Want. Carl, always a key player. Is he a team player, though? We shall see. Is this... It's the fucking One-Eye, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The old One-Eye. If I agree to go to war against the One-Eye, I can get trade and military access. Hmm. hmm. Actually, you know what? I, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. Why not? It's just the one eye. He's got one eye. I will. Watch me just get rolled. Absolutely just steamrolled by the freaking goat with one eye. Now oh, there's Vladdy Daddy. Daddy. How's it going, Vladdy Daddy? Then and only then shall I hear thine words. Yeah, I've heard that before. I've heard that before. Get out of here. All right. So, uh, moving on. In turn. Okay. Been eye on the time. Not that it's a big concern, I just... <sighs> okay, so for those of you that watch my streams, uh, I have a tendency to just keep going. Um, my streams are pretty long, uh, and I lose track of time. Um, so that's why I'm actually being mindful of it right now. That, yeah. You guys gave me shit otherwise. I love you for it. Okay. 
fuck is this? Oh, it's one of our grudges. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll come back to that. It's, it's, it's kind of overwhelming right now. I don't want to. I don't wanna think about that. Um, the High King acts. I want to do some fighting. Let's do some fighting around the world. And that. Um, we could recruit a bit more, but we should just get in there and smash them. Um, we have an eight garrison. Yeah. This guy's in march stance. Okay. Okay. Send should we just get in there and smash? Vengeance. We're gonna get counterattacked potentially by yeah. more galore up here, who's also in march stance. Star Snake is to the north here at Mount Gunbad. That is his capital, and a very critical settlement for us to control eventually would be quite the juicy gold mine due to the golden idols and a special building I, this place can make some of the most money in the game for the doors if i remember correctly uh, very important so yeah um do we get any slayers no damn it okay well let's fight it Decisive low, and we could easily auto it, but we probably should fight it. There's that little stack nearby, and there could be other armies lingering out there, or lurking out there. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's fight it. It's just kind of funny, like, yeah, there's no chat to interact with. What, in Tarnation? It is kind of strange. I, th I think I like it. I, yeah, it's fun. You guys are awesome. This is basically just, yeah. I'm just, I'm basically just streaming to you. Imagine like I'm just streaming to you right now. It's the same. It's the same thing. All right. We don't have any artillery right now. Um. Hmm. Which cab do they have? They have that one unit there, and there. Those ones are archers. Okay. Yeah. I like this little hill here. It's quite fun. Let's put you out there. Oop. So I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Dwarves, their engineers need uh, mounts. They need to be plop. They need to be that guy right there. This guy, you see that? That should be my dwarf engineer. Yeah. Either that or not necessarily in a bomber, but a, like a gyrocopter, right? Gyrocopter, that'd be fine as well. Gyro bomber, either one. I'd prefer probably the copter because it's smaller. I don't know. No, yeah, they're both cool. All right, what am I doing? Okay, yes. So I get flanked. Stupid. Stupid dogs. What's the range of those archer dogs? One hundred. Well, good, I kind of outrange him with my gyro bomber. Okay. Let's put the shielded guys over there, too. There's kind of in the middle. God. Ah. The stupid buildings. You guys could be over here, I guess. Ah! Dwarves are too tiny. I can't crush through the structures like Colex big strong arms or something like that. I'm just, just bounce off the structures. The might of Strike out. Yeah, let's do it. We're coming for you. We outrange you. Got ten payloads for you. Oh yeah. Oh. Got a kite. Micro. Ah ah. Woo. The turn and the turn and burn. Get out of here, dude. Shoot these guys. Oh, check that out. Mm. 
No. Shoot them with a capable unit. Which I think I was just the word. Let's just run through there. It is a reckoning! Shoot down the archers. Shoot down the archers. That's a good one. Well, I was gonna miss. Damn it. Nicked. At least biggins. Kind of fun. Ooh, those blasting charges look great right there. Did you see that? We're getting shot. We're getting shot. Oh, here we go. Some bomb opportunities here. Let's get in there. Uh, uh. Oh. Right down the line. Let's go. Careful. There we go. Let's get one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a little sloppy. Here we go. Oh, we're out of the bombs. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, careful. Oh, uh, that didn't do much, but send a message. Right, let's go. One for you. One for... We'll just meet the one. Oh. Uh, I just tipped it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got one more. Let's make it count. Uh, oh. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Oh, money shot. Fuck. What's happening on the right flank? Fucking chaos. Oh, yeah, the hammer is just getting saucy. Got a taste of that. Chicken some shots here. Turn and burn. Reforming on the flanks. Adventure. POV. Oh yeah, it's like Call of Duty. Really dangerous. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Woo. Oh wow, that was good. That was a good battle. A little scrap, as turn says. Good little scrap. No friendly fire. Stop firing. Stop firing. Good boy. Alright. Good. Uh, Thorgrim didn't take too much extra damage. He's basically at that much health in the battle start, so I'm happy with that. Oh, wait! You think you can escape me? You think you can escape the guns? Let's get you in melee. I'm gonna pull him into melee here. Let's fast forward a little bit. Actually, I remember all the speed. That's slow at all? No, it's lowers melee defense. Which is fine, because we're getting in there with the blades. Oh, yeah. Surround him. Oh, no, don't push him that way. Get in front of him. There you go. Oh, no, 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 like that. Like that. No, no, not like that. There we go. There we go, that way. Oh no! Oh, he gets he gets on the wrong side. Go! Oh, no! Here we go. Here we go. No, oh, he goes after his butt. God. 
Ah, no. Oh, okay, just should have shot him. All right, that was a disaster. Oh well. Sometimes you just gotta chase after a butt. <sighs> he tried. Oh well. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to stop. Actually, we just hit the thirty-five minute mark, and uh, yeah, I was aiming for thirty to thirty. No, thirty to. 40 minutes, approximately thereabouts, maybe 45 minutes, if I'm feeling saucy or something like that. Hell, maybe even an hour. I don't know. They may become an hour. For all I know, I, I really, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just, I just hit record. So, we're, we're going to figure this out as we go along. Okay, so I'm going to occupy this. I do know that much. I'm going to grab that settlement and work towards uh, completing our province, which I think we just did. We did. All right, let's go with... The growth one, yeah, yeah. But I did say we're going to stop there because, you know, as I said, I, I have a tendency to just keep going with the campaigns uh, when I say I should probably stop. So this is, yeah, 35 minutes, that's good. I'm happy. This is a good length. And um, so in terms of the release schedule, what I'm planning to do um, is uh, continue what I'm doing with the live stream. So it'll be going um, five days a week of live stream. So at the moment, my schedule, as of now, is I will be streaming five days a week, as I just said. Uh, and those streams will be on Sunday through Thursday. Sunday through Thursday, live streams. And then on Friday and Saturdays, I'll be releasing these videos. So a separate campaign that run alongside my live streams, but are not going to be my live streams. So two separate campaigns, both the live and then the non-live uploaded um, Let's Plays. AKA this. And these will go on, I'm, again, I'm not sure how long yet, how many episodes, but we'll figure that together. Um, I'll gauge your interest, gauge uh, and a few other things, a few other metrics, and we'll go from there. So, I wanna thank you guys for coming out today, and uh, uh, whenever you happen to be watching this, <laughs> it could be anywhere, anytime. Um, it's the beauty of the Let's Play. Um, that's something that I wanted to, one of the reasons why I started doing these is, um, to make it more accessible for you guys. So I think a lot of people see my streams and they're like, oh my gosh, they're like minimum five hours, sometimes up to eight or nine hours. Um, uh, and it's just too much, too much at once. And of course, yeah, you could split up, break into pieces, but it, you, you just see that like length of time uh, um, allotment for a, a one episode. And, it's, and it's, I think it's overwhelming for some people. So I wanted to give these little, these little more bite-sized adjustable chunks out there for people to kind of like get a taste of what uh, the content that I make is, and and, uh, and then come to the live streams and, and go from there. So um, that is the purpose of this, and I'm excited for you guys to um, partake in it and, and enjoy the content. So if you have been enjoying the content, um, please do think about subscribing and liking. Um, we are on the cusp here of this channel to uh, of hitting a thousand subscribers. Uh, and I'm beyond excited. Um, you guys have been extremely kind and welcoming and, um, and friendly and, and positive about the things I've been doing over the past nine months with this channel. And I just want to keep going with it. Um, so I, I do thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support and the continued support. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, I, I'm excited to see where things go and, and all the, uh, the more new faces I'll be meeting along the way. So, till then, guys, take care of yourselves. I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye.